Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Uh, in our last video, we trimmed up our home screen here so that uh, it's just a little bit gaudier and easy to notice and understand. Click here to open. It's pretty self-explanatory. Bam! Click there. Opens up our new user form. So, uh, real quick, um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add a checkbox that says print preview and I'm sure you've seen that on a lot of different applications um, if you you know if you're gonna run a report you may want to see a print preview especially in Excel so uh, let's let's do that step and have it be the default so exit out of that and hit alt F11 to get into our Visual Basic editor so we're in the Visual Basic editor right now what are we going to do is we're going to go ahead and create our checkbox here uh, click that and we'll put it just about anywhere, it doesn't matter. We can, and we're going to say uh, print preview, maybe a question mark or something. Uh, double click on the corner to auto size, and you can't click here to check it, as far as I know. Ooh, I'm missing the properties when you window. Remember, hit F4 to bring up the properties. And there it is. But we're going to call this CB Print Preview because it's a checkbox and it's the print preview one. So we have that labeled. Um, the next thing is to write our code based on it, CB Print Preview. So I'm going to control C to copy that. Now in our report, we double click on the button. This is our one single report. So at the very end, it says for that worksheet, which we've given ER sheet, the, the name ER sheet, it says when that one becomes visible, or excuse me, at the end of the report, that one is to become true. So we want it to be visible. Then we want it to be selected. Now this next part, the print preview, the user actually chooses whether they want that to be checked or not. So we're going to do an if statement, if, and remember that the that particular um, form is called hide form, and that's the one that we're actually writing codes in. So we could say if me dot, or we could also say if hide form dot. It's the same thing. Since we're in that, we'll say me is easier. If me dot cb print preview tab equals true, meaning it's checked. Oops, then, and we're going to use the same name of that worksheet, er sheet dot print preview. So, and then do it end if. Okay, so if the print preview button is checked, if it's true, then go to that page which we know has already been selected just a second ago and do a print preview of it. So let's see how that works here. Clicking to open that. So you see that um, if I run the employee report and that's not checked, here's what happens. I'm going to run it. It's going to run itself. Then it automatically made that sheet uninvisible or unhit, unhide it. Then it selected it, and, but it just brought it up. I would have to click the print preview button right here myself or I would have to hit control P like so to get this print preview screened. Now let's go back to our home sheet, click there, click the print preview button and run it. So it ran the report and actually opened a print preview sheet for me, which is pretty cool. So let's make the print preview our default though. So double click on the hide form after I hit Alt F11 to get here. Double click here. The print preview Let's go to the very bottom and make the value to be true. And you'll notice when I release that and click away that that is now checked by default. So let's go back to our home sheet and click there. You notice that it's by default it is checked and they would have to uncheck it if they didn't want it to do that print preview thing just then. So they'd have to manually uncheck it. So that is it for that lesson. We're gonna we added a print preview button, and it's very simple. You just take the worksheet name dot print preview. This could also be done by typing this workbook dot sheets in print or open parentheses quote that sheet name in print 
end quote in parentheses dot visible equals or excuse me dot print preview pardon me so you can do the full thing or you can name a variable and set a variable to that worksheet thanks for watching